And now for something completely different. Hi, what? Shut up, dog. <laughs> Are you down, dog? Welcome to Smoky Goodness. Stay tuned for seafood noodle nests. We have shrimp, scallop, maybe some asparagus. We're gonna put them in noodle nests. Gonna be good. Let's take a tour. Stick around, Herb. Okay, since everything is very time sensitive out here, I'm gonna be doing this tour very quickly. Starting off, there's my Weber Wok. Moving along, we have some coconut oil, which incidentally has liquefied because of the uh, warm temperature. I've got some uh, Tango Spice Midnight Espresso. Great stuff. And this is uh, peanut oil. I think it's Vietnamese peanut oil, but is a peanut a peanut anywhere in the world? Yes, it is. Okay, some hand sanitizer, of course. Over here, these are two uh, seven and a half inch strainers. I would have preferred six inch strainers, but we simply don't have them. Over here, we've got some nat Nature's Choice cedar planks. And I've also got some cedar paper from, uh, I can't remember the lady's name. Uh, she's on YouTube also. There is a bowl of noodles. Let's see what I'm going to be doing with those pretty soon. You can't tell, but the uh, scallops, which have been rinsed, are in there. We have asparagus, which has also been rinsed. And lastly, but probably not leastly, our shrimp skewers, peeled, deveined, skewered, and ready to go. And speaking of ready to go, let's go. Cedar paper just loves to stick to whatever it's touching, doesn't it? So I can do this all in one fell swoop. All right. That is what I call cutting it close. Shut up, hurtin dog. Long time. All right. Before we start putting together our nests, we've got to uh, prepare the strainers. It's really easy. But be very careful doing this. All you want to do is just coat them with a little bit of hot oil. Like I said, be careful. These are going to be very hot. Okay, basically, all I'm doing here is building a nest out of rice noodles. You can use Egg noodles. You can even use spaghetti if you wanted to. All of you chose rice noodles because we were in the Asian store yesterday. They had rice noodles. That's what we found. That's what we used. Okay, and then, this is look funky right now, but we're going to look good later. <laughs> Say, if this doesn't work, don't blame me. Blame Martin Yen from his uh, Yan Can Cook series. Cookbook. All right. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's sit for a moment. It's been on about, what, three minutes? And hopefully, if all goes right, we should be able to dump this into a couple of paper towels over here. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Do want to stick a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to be nests. They're going to be a bed. <laughs> well, it said in uh, Martin Yen's cookbook to use six inch, uh, what are they called, uh, strainers. We have seven and a half inch, so that probably explains a lot. But all hope is not lost. I improvise. We're just going to take these 
fry them. You make a bed. That's what we're going to do. Now we're going to town. How big will our bed be? Pretty big. It's be the same uh, deal. They're going to be all crunchy and delicious. Up right here. Yeah. <laughs> See, and then we can still use the strainer. We're just gonna scoop everything out, put it on the plate. Probably ought to put them on paper towels. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Probably ought to put them on paper. Ah, what the heck? Huh? Oops. So we're gonna drain them like this. It's kind of. Them back and forth. What do you think? Yeah, that's more room better than. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a bed and not a nest. D at all times. Use pot holders. This thing is extremely screaming hot. All right. So, there. Smooth side down, those bacteria. Way indirect with this. Just for life of that. Okay. I think we averted a major catastrophe here today. Bad boy's over. Hey look, I've still got noodles on my uh my tongs. Anyway, since we're doing seafood, I'm going to cover these bad rabbits with coconut oil. Yum. And uh, trying to pre-plan for everything, I use one long Nature's Choice cedar plank and then one smaller one. My thought behind that was that there might not be that much room with the walk in there, but as it turns out, there was no room. I'm hitting them all with this Tango Spice Midnight Espresso. Mighty fine stuff. Be kind of careful with these because you don't want to roll all over the place. As you know, with shrimp, you do not want to overcook it. We're gonna hit this with some sweet soy sauce. Yum! Oh man. Hey, just a reminder, uh, I've got a little bit of time left. I've got a contest running. Um, check on my uh, Smoky Goodness page. There's a video called A Contest. You get all the details. There's about a week left to go on it, so you still have a chance to enter it if you want. By the way, those, uh, what, what did we call it? Shrimp, scallop, nest bed things were awesome. They were great. And uh, we're out here in the country, 
sort of. Right on the edge of the city, we're going to catch the solar eclipse tonight. This is going to rock. So, uh, put that on my. It's getting dark already. Not here. I think it started. So, anyway. All right, that's it. Stick around, Herb. <laughs>